Today I want to talk about something that I don't talk about nearly enough on this channel, which is micro brands. I don't know what it is about me and my tastes, I'm just a bit of a mainstream darling. Some might even say my tastes are basic. They wouldn't be wrong. But the more time I spend with independent and micro brand watches, the more I'm becoming convinced of their awesomeness. I think micro brands are an interesting and important part of the hobby. At their best, micro brands play with the idea of what a luxury watch is and could be. They usually tend to put an ETA or Salita movement in their watches, and the rest is totally up to them. They can be quirky, playful, take risks in ways that some of the big brands can't. So here's some of the micro brands that I love. Some I've been hands on with and some I haven't been yet. When I was first dreaming up this video and thinking of the brands I wanted to feature and how I wanted this to look, I wanted to get hands on with all of the watches before I released this video, but because of circumstances outside of my control, the timeline for this has been pushed up. So here it is, earlier than I thought it would be. Um, also, I'm filming in my garage. That's why I'm wearing this fleece. It's pretty cold today. Maybe you can see my breath. If you can't see it, this is gonna be so embarrassing. Let's start with Manta. I have a weird fascination with Manta. I don't know why, I don't know what it is within me, but whenever I see a thumbnail for a Manta watch review, I click it. So I've been hands-on with the Manta Atlas these past couple weeks, and it really is a superb watch. It has all of those go anywhere, do anything, versatile characteristics that I look for, but with some practical functions like the 24 hour hand and date. Looking at some of the Atlas GMT specifications, it has a case diameter of 38 and a half millimeters and a lug to lug of 47 millimeters. Screw down crown, 150 meters of water resistance, and inside this watch is the Monte Calibre M23 self-winding mechanical movement giving you 56 hours of power reserve. The Calibre M23 is based on the ETA 2893-2 movement, so a great tried and tested workhorse movement. These watches retail for £1,600, so it is on the upper end on what I would pay for a micro brand, but you get a lot of watch for the money. I haven't been hands-on with any other Manta. I've been dying to see the SkyQuest in person. I've been watching so many reviews on it and I feel like I just need to see it. But yeah, hopefully soon. So Zealous is a new brand for me. This is the first watch of theirs. Oh, I have all these watches here. I forgot about that. Well, this is the first watch of theirs that I've seen in person. I feel like their watches aren't for everyone, but the people who love these, the people who they really speak to, really love these watches. For full disclosure, this is a watch that was given to me by Zealous, so thank you so much, guys. And this is the Aurora in orange. I wanted a bold color. I don't think everyone would go with the orange. Looking at some of the specifications, this watch has a 42 millimeter case, lug to lug of 49 millimeters, so he's a big boy, and a case material of grade two titanium with 200 meters of water resistance. Inside this watch is the Miyota 9039 movement. I personally love the effect of titanium. It just feels a little bit more dark and matte. On the wrist, it is probably ultimately too large for me, but it's just a bit of fun, a great summer watch. It's just bold and happy with some beefy specifications. Get it. Now, depending on which uh, gossip tabloids you turn into, you may or may not know that I've got this Nomadic in for review. I didn't sell it. I didn't give it away. But let's not make this video about this. It's about watches. So for full disclosure, this one was given to me by Pete of Nomadic Watches. So thank you so much, Pete. This is the Nomadic Marais 401 dive watch. 
Now there's actually a lot of cool hidden gems in this watch and it just tells the story of this Northern Ireland brand. So Pete was telling me that there's this big ship in Belfast called the Nomadic, which was the tender ship to the Titanic. And of course the Titanic was constructed in Belfast, hence the brand name Nomadic. And the yellow hand pays homage to the Belfast cranes, Samson and Goliath. Aesthetically, this watch has some Black Bay 58 vibes, but slightly bigger, so a 40mm case and a 49mm lug to lug. Screw down crown, 200m water resistance, and inside this watch is the Solita SW200-1 automatic movement. One big improvement Nomadic made to this watch is the bracelet. So when I received this watch initially, it had this bracelet, which had all of the worst features of the Black Bay 58 with the faux rivets. But with this new bracelet, it actually makes it a pretty strong alternative to the Black Bay 58, especially if you want something slightly larger. Moving on, Studio Underdog. This was actually the first micro brand I had ever been hands on with and I was ever seriously interested in. I've had the watermelon and the desert sky in for review a while back. But there are so many new additions now, like the mint chocolate chip, strawberries and cream, and my personal favorite, the Studio Underdog X Fratello Eggplant. <laughs> it's just awesome. Look, they're just everything I want. They're funny, irreverent. They don't take themselves too seriously. Let me show you. This is, this is their about us on their website. On a side note, I have applied for a role myself. But for real, this line on their page, why can't horology be a little bit more playful from time to time, perfectly sums them up. This is why I love them and why I aim to one day own a studio underdog. So their watches all have the same case dimensions and movement. So a case size of 38 and a half millimeters with the Siegel manual winding ST1901 just a little fun chronograph with loads of different color schemes. I can't wait to see what Richard delivers us next. All right, guys, last but not least, and this is probably one of my favorite watches I've reviewed in this last year, and it's the Brew Metric Retro. I borrowed this one from my lovely friend Luke, and this was just pure fun and joy on the wrist. Fun colors, gorgeous dimensions, and a weird little purpose for this watch. So the metric was designed to measure the perfect amount of time for an espresso shot. So 25 to 35 seconds. Is it necessary? No. Is it fun, unique, happy? Yes. Which is why I love this watch. If you are interested in getting a brew metric retro, they are currently out of stock. And from what I hear, they're pretty hard to get a hold of. So I wish you the best of luck. Anyways, guys, these are just some of my favorite micro brand watches that I've been hands on with and just really wanted to give a little shout out to and highlight on the channel. As always, I'd love to pass the question off to you. What do you think of these brands? Uh, do you have any micro brand watches and where do you think micro brands place is within the greater scope of watchmaking? Comment it all down below. And for now, hit him with the patron song. Ooh, 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 I'm doing the patron song. Ooh, 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 I'm trying to sound like a boy band. Ooh, 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 I failed at it last time. But it doesn't matter, cause it's not about me. It's about thanking patrons. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pope tier patrons. And all tier patrons, cause you all rock. Especially Ulysses. Thought I'd give you a shout out because you rock. Thank you. Bye guys. <laughs>